Now, welcome back. If you were, um, if you was with us doing part one, then, excuse me, I'm out here, this job is killing me. Shit, if you was here for part one, then I thank you and, and I, and, and I give you thanks and I pray that God rewards you for listening. Uh, part one, it was more of the introductory and because I know about attention spans, my videos for Youth No Miley will never exceed or I will try for them never to exceed over 10 minutes. That way, if you wanna watch part one and you have something else you need to do, and then if you wanna watch part two later, you can actually do that, but you don't have to waste like, and I, what I mean by waste is if I sit down and I look at something for 20 minutes that isn't a talk show or a, a series, then I still would have to, uh, you know, waste some of that time because my attention span is not going to allow me to focus and pay attention to all of those things. So, welcome. So, let's get to the nitty gritty, the meat uh, of the conversation. Uh, my inquiries and emails and the people who I tutor or mentor and a family and this and the third, the encouragement that I have to uh, to have these conversations with these people. Uh, uh, one of them is, and, and remarkably non-shocking to me, is, is always consistent of money in one form or another. And what I need my young princes to understand, and even though this is a, 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 a meeting, a, a midweek, session for youth normality anybody adults whatever could take this and learn from it and implement it on your own life because it's you it's really not an age difference it's just this the platform in which god has presented and made it possible uh, for me to uh appear uh, or, or hold 90 percent of all my relationships with that felt when you get down to the nitty gritty, you get down to the bone marrow of, 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 of the reasoning behind it fell and it always had to do with inadequate or the abundance of money. I'll say it again. 90% of all relationships I have fucking been in who have fell has something to do with the inadequate, meaning the non-existence or not enough money all the abundance meaning like it was too much money and it cost me to have side effects that people without money don't necessarily have not making excuses for myself but it definitely played a factor in my behavior what i took the things i understood the language in which i spoke the way that i treated people it, it had a numerous uh, numerous numerous amount of consequences and and responsibility Number one, let me ask you a question. If I had all the groceries in the world in my refrigerator and someone said they were hungry and I started naming all of these beautiful things that I could cook you but I had no pots. And a person who heard me tell them everything I had in my refrigerator when it came time to eat I told them that I couldn't prepare them anything to eat the first thing they're going to say in their minds is number one he either lied about what was in his refrigerator or he just didn't want to cook for me and even though some people might be lost about where that analogy extends to what I'm speaking of, you have to understand that when you walk around with the potential, when you walk around with the arrogance, when you walk around with the cockiness, when you walk around with the confidence of a person who is well off or doesn't have any of these problems, then people will perceive you as that. When people see you talking about what you got on the internet, when people hear you talking about the things that you possess, when people hear you talking about and speaking about money, what you have to understand is when they see you in person, they would expect the behavior of a person who repeated the language in which you spoke. So, young boys, the layman terms of what I'm saying is stop frauding. 
stop frauding. Stop trying to impress a woman by telling her you have things that you might have had in the past, things that you might have been doing in the past. So, getting kind of excited. In closing, I want to keep in contact with, keep you know, I want to keep it in mind the things that I said that I was going to do or try to keep being done. Like always, man, you got to understand, man. If you just got out of jail, you just got out of foster home, you just got out of placement, you about to go in any of these places. Take this time that God is putting aside in your life where you won't have no reason to not concentrate on yourself because there's nothing else to do but concentrate on yourself. Take that time to better you so when you get yourself in a position that your life is together, you got your own stuff, your own car, your own apartment, you got your own shit. When you get yourself to that point, not only can you try to find a woman, you can actually ask for a queen. Because it's hard to ask for a queen, even to get an audience with a queen, if you are a peasant. The truth hurts, but I only preach that. From a former peasant, I tell you, a queen is going to use you for whatever she needs you to do. Whether she needs you to be her jackal, if you are just entertainment, if you are an errand boy, if you are a connect to a world that doesn't exist for her, now she get a chance to come to the hood and buy drugs and get high and party and she knows she has a, a, a tour guide. But when the tour is over and, and an experience she wants to be open, she would definitely tell you good riddance and your payment was her attention or company. And she will go back up to the hills to her kingdom only to meet you again when she's bored. I have no problem because I am a king now. <laughs> and I want a woman, I have a woman because I want one, not because I need one. And the freedom in that, I cannot explain to you fellas. Young men, I can't explain it to you. And if I would have took the opportunity to get me together first, then I wouldn't have all of these stories about relationships that fell. I'll be talking about my wife instead of a girl that possibly could be mine. Remember, most importantly, that if no one told you they love you today, no homo, I love you. And remember that you can have a great day on purpose, not by accident or by circumstances. And most importantly, remember that if you choose to be miserable, fellas, you did exactly that. You chose because you have the opportunity to get rid of the things in your life that make you miserable. The Cabo One, stay alive.